Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn English. My name is Mrs. Sheetal Jain Pillay and today I will be introducing you to another grammar lesson which is active and passive voice. Today we will be learning the minute details of how to transform a sentence from active to passive voice and vice versa. So please stay tuned for this entire class as we will be covering all the doubts you might have in your minds. What is active and passive voice? So the active and passive voices are the ways of showing the relationship between the doer and the receiver of the action. So in an active voice, the subject, the subject does the action denoted by the verb. So, if you see this example, Tina broke the window pane. Here, who is the subject? To identify the subject, just ask who to the verb. Who broke the window pane? You will get the answer, Tina. So, Tina is the subject. So, here in the active voice, it clearly shows that Tina is the main doer of the action. What is the action? Breaking the window pane. So here the more the highlight is on Tina. The emphasis is on Tina. Tina broke the window pane which is the active voice. Now this sentence can be transformed into a passive voice when the subject is acted upon and hence is the receiver of the action denoted by the verb. So here the subject will be acted upon. So here what is the action that took place? Breaking the window pane. So now we will put that first. The window pane was broken by Tina. Okay. So here we are giving more emphasis of the action taking place by Tina not giving emphasis on Tina. What action has been done by Tina? We are laying more emphasis on that and that is why it is called as a passive voice. Now if you refer to both the sentence, the event is same. However, the focus is different. In the first one, we focus on the subject that Tina has done something. Tina has broken the window pane. But in the second sentence, it tells us something was done to the window pane by Tina. So, the verb was broken. is said to be in a passive voice. Okay? Use of passive voice. Now, why do we use passive voice? We use passive voice for official work or for formal letter writing. So, when the actor is unknown or unimportant, we use passive voice. The knife was found besides the body. So, what was found? We are laying emphasis on what was found. We are not interested in where it was found. Or when you want to focus on the receiver of the action more than the actor. The teacher was fired for his political activism. So, what happened? The teacher was fired. We are laying more emphasis on the teacher. Why? Because for his activities in politics. Very important to understand the rules and regulations from subject pronoun to object pronoun. Now, how to change the active voice pronoun to the passive voice pronoun? Okay, for example... Your active sentence says, I write a letter. So, I is the subject. I is also a pronoun known as subject pronoun. This we need to transform it into a passive sentence. So, we will write, what is the object here? I write what? A letter. So, the object will come first in the passive voice. A letter is written by me. Now, see. If you have I in the active voice, the I changes into me in the passive voice. So, I write a letter. A letter is written by me. Simple present tense. 
you write a letter a letter is written by you you remains you in the passive voice he she it wrote a letter when it is wrote it will be passive form written a letter is written by him her it we write a letter a letter is written by us we changes to us he she it changes to him her it you all write a letter a letter is written by you they write a letter a letter is written by them so if it is you all a letter is written by you all can also be the correct answer so you need to understand please keep this chart ready what is the subject pronoun and how will it change into a object pronoun i will change to me i in the subject of an active sentence will change to me as an object of a passive sentence we in an active sentence will change to us in a passive sentence so we need to remember these rules and regulations when we are transferring the active sentence to a passive sentence pertaining to pronouns rules to change auxiliary verbs present in our active sentence for example do you eat food is an active sentence now this can be changed into a passive sentence by using is am are depending on what type of sentence it is do you eat food now the food is the object here bring the object in the front the food is eaten by you can be the correct answer or the correct answer can be is the food eaten by you so the tip here is get the auxiliary verb is 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 the auxiliary verb okay or also called as helping verb get the auxiliary verb in the first place and rewrite the sentence is the food eaten by you so if there is a do in your sentence you can rewrite the sentence by using is am are okay start your sentence by is is the food eaten by you so this will get eat will get its passive form eaten you will remain you as discussed in the subject and object pronoun in the previous slide next did if your active sentence has a did it will change to was or were did you eat the food was the food eaten by you so get the auxiliary verb was was the food eaten by you get the was in the front and rewrite the sentence was the food eaten by you okay so this is how you will change the auxiliary verbs if it is do you will write is am are if it is does you will write is am are and if it is did you will write was or were one important rule pertaining to what if there is a what in the sentence you will transform the sentence from an active to a passive by not changing the first word which means what always remains what what did you do what was done by you will remain the same what will remain what so what did you do what was done by you is the correct form of passive voice so what will remain what did will become was as discussed in the previous slide okay what was done so did will get a passive form what was done by you you will remain you okay so always the object in the passive voice will be preceded by by b y by to form passive forms of imperative sentence which are commands we use let plus subject plus be plus past participle for example 
this is an imperative sentence which means it is a command call the doctor okay so if it is a command or if it is an imperative sentence we will use let let the doctor be called so who is the subject here the subject is the doctor so let plus the doctor plus the past participle of the verb call next when you are making a request or a suggestion we will use you plus be plus past participle so work hard is a suggestion okay so when you have a suggestion as an active voice you will write the passive form as you are advised okay you will use you first you are advised or you are requested to work hard okay remember this these are few tips which was discussed in direct and indirect speech as well wipe your feet you are requested to wipe your feet get out of the room now what kind of sentence this is this is an order okay so you are ordered to get out of the room is the correct passive form of command request and suggestion in imperative sentences active and passive voice related to models now if we have a model verb can may in the sentence we will add be with the past participle of the verb without changing the form of the model verb for example can they can use natural gases they can use natural gas to power houses okay so here it is saying use be before the past participle okay so what is the verb here use we will use be before the past participle which means used natural gas can be used to power houses may they may use natural gas to power houses natural gas may be used to power houses could they could use natural gas to power houses natural gas could be used to power houses should they should use natural gas to power houses natural gas should be used to power houses can she cook food can the food be cooked by her so can you see how we are adding be before the past participle what is past participle here cook is in the present form what is the past form of cook it is cooked cooked is the past participle and we will add be before the past participle of the verb may i take bath may bath be taken by me taken is the past participle of the verb form take so before the past participle we will add be b e b rules and regulation pertaining to tenses let's discuss the present tense now if our active voice has a present tense we will be changing it into a passive voice by adding the third form of the verb she eats food this is eats what is the third form of the verb the first form is eat the second form is ate the third form is eaten so the object will come first she eats what food food is your answer when you ask what to the subject you will get the answer for your object bring the object first food is eaten by her this is the third form of the verb so you will add is plus the third form of the verb and you will add the object pronoun similarly if you have the present continuous you will add is am are plus being plus the third form of the verb she is eating food food is being eaten by her if you have the present perfect you will add has have plus been plus the third form of the verb she has eaten the food the food has been eaten by her so remember in all the tenses you will change your passive voice to the third form of the verb 
you will get your object in the front and you will precede your object pronoun with a by so by always precedes your object pronoun past tense now if your book if your active sentence is in simple past you will write it in simple past with the third form of the verb she wrote a book a book was written by her she was writing a book you will write it in past continuous with the third form of the verb a book was being written by her she had written a book a book had been written by her okay so you will change the sentence into its past form by adding the third form of the verb remember future tense if your active sentence is in simple future you will add b plus v3 i will eat the food the food the food will be eaten by me if your active voice will have a future perfect you will add been plus v3 i will have eaten the food the food will have been eaten by me there will be no future continuous and no future perfect continuous in the active and passive voice sentence now let us see how to change into passive form with two objects lena teaches me german so lena teaches what german lena teaches what me so me and german are both objects how will we change german is taught to me by lena is the correct answer okay so here what is the object put the object in front german is taught to me by lena so ask the question german is taught to whom to me by whom by lena okay the manager will send you the flowers the manager will send what the flowers this is the object the manager will send whom you okay to get the answer of the object ask what or whom to the verb you will get your answer lena teaches what german lena teaches whom me you will get the answer so in this case we have two objects me and german is the object so now bring the first object in the front the the flowers will be sent to you by the manager so when a verb is in the active voice has a direct and an indirect object so one is a direct object one is an indirect object in the sentence whenever we have an infinitive in our active sentence what is infinitive two plus verb is called as an infinitive so whenever we have an infinitive we can turn it into a passive voice by adding to be plus past participle what is past participle take your verb and change it into the past participle form or v3 form okay i am to learn french french is to to be learned by me but this is a little different here it is time to cook the food this will change to be cooked by me but it is time for the food to be cooked by me will be the correct transformation from active to passive voice let us discuss few examples of transforming active to passive pertaining to various tenses from simple present to simple present with the v3 form a i i make a cake a cake is being made similarly present continuous i am making a cake a cake is being made simple past i made a cake a cake was made past continuous i was making a cake a cake was being made present perfect i have made a cake a cake has been made past perfect i had made a cake a cake had been made future simple i will make a cake a cake will be made 
future be going to i am going to make a cake a cake is going to be made if you have a model in the active voice for example i must make a cake it will not change the form but we will add b after the model a cake must be made if you have a model perfect i should have made a cake we will not change the form but we will add a b a cake should have been made okay so that's all for now i hope you've understood active and passive voice now please try few examples and try to change a sentence from active to passive by using all the rules discussed in this video you can mention in the comments any doubts or any sentence to be transformed i would be happy to help thank you for watching this video please stay tuned for the other upcoming videos till then stay safe thank you this is me sheetal jain signing off bye bye